What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer windows. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast with all the latest Manchester City transfer happenings for the summer, then do make sure that you have subscribed. Also, don't forget as well, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 500 likes once more is the aim so any help towards that would be great also don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts what you make of these transfers in at the comments below and lastly this video is sponsored and it's brought to you by one football this video is brought to you by one football if you want to download the one football app all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description which will take you forward to where you can download this app the one football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me it provides you with the latest footballing news transfer news and the latest videos as well it is one source of information of where i get my transfer news from it also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video if you want to go and check them out then the link to them uh, in the description press that link in my description will take you to the download page to download the three one four ball app so let's crack on then with this video we're going to start off with the out so we've got an update on liam de Lapp. now stoke city they have agreed a deal to loan liam de Lapp for the season uh, for the season there is no buy option included in this loan deal it is a simple and straightforward season long loan he's had his medical at stoke city today and this has been reported by the ever reliable david ornstein of the athletic so this is is happening it seems like Stoke have beaten West Bromwich Albion to the signing of Liam Delap and he is going to be spending the season in the championship which is what I was speaking about in yesterday's video in uh, as expected Manchester City to more than likely keep him in England and see how he progresses so interesting to see and definitely one to keep an eye out for if you've got any spare time watching any EFL football and do check out Stoke City and if Liam Delap is featuring or starting then see how he is getting along and I'm looking forward to including him in my loan report when we get round to them uh, during the international break next year in March. Now, moving on to another player that's leaving Manchester City on loan is Issa Kabore. It has been confirmed now that he has signed for Olympique de Marseille in France on a season-long loan. They, unlike Stoke City with Liam Delap, do have an option to buy and it's worth €20 million. Euros. I'm going to presume here that um, Marseille are paying a loan fee. It's not been reported on what it is. It won't be that that much i imagine we'll be looking at like a million or two million euros probably at the very very max here with that 20 million euros option to buy and if that 20 million euros option to buy is activated then manchester city have included a buyback option as well so i'm going to wish it's the very best of luck in his move to the south of france and wishing him the very best of luck for the season hope he smashes his loan out in marseille now moving on to the final transfer of the outs and it's a biggie it's a huge update on Bernardo Silva now Oliver K at the Athletic says that Bernardo Silva he's ready to abandon a move to Barcelona this summer uh, which means he will stay at Manchester City for the foreseeable future which will be for the next season some at Manchester City believe that Bernardo Silva could even go one step further and sign a contract extension at Manchester City which would take him beyond his current deal which expires in three years in 2025 that is excellent news keeping Bernardo Silva at Manchester City is a great bit of transfer business for Manchester City and sometimes it's not about which players are sold and which players are brought in sometimes it's about keeping hold of your best players and when clubs are coming sniffing around and trying to twist things and turn the heads of players the fact that we've held firm here and kept Bernardo Silva we did this last summer we've done the same this summer as well 
that is great news and if we can get Bernardo Silva on a new contract because he's clearly settled he's clearly happy at Manchester City he wouldn't have uh, obviously committed to a stay at Manchester City for the previous uh, well last season and this season coming up as well if he didn't want to be here he wants to be at Manchester City and if we can get him on a new deal that to me would be one of the best bits of transfer business that we've done this summer to me if we get Bernardo Silva on a new contract then I think that is as good a business as signing Erlen Haaland from Borussia Dortmund this summer because I regard Bernardo Silva as one of the top five best players that we've got at Manchester City and the fact that Barcelona have come calling the fact that Bernardo Silva clearly is or was keen on a move to Barcelona as well to get him on a new deal and committing to Manchester City and once again playing to the best of his ability he's a player let's not forget that loves putting in quality performances he's a very consistent player player there's always seven eight out of ten performances uh, throughout most of his career with Manchester City he can hit new heights he has great understanding with the team with our midfield with our attack as well and I can't wait for the upcoming season and having Bernardo Silva as part of that so having that away and done and dusted is a great relief not just to Bernardo but for Manchester City as well and to me this is one of the best bits of business that City have done this summer now Jose Alvarez on Twitter has said that Bernardo Silva he's interested in moving away from Manchester City Centre apartments in Manchester and he's now looking to try and buy a house instead it was reported that he left his apartment last week and he's gone to a new apartment but he's eyeing up houses instead which again once again is suggesting Bernardo Bernardo Silva wants to stay at Manchester City at least perhaps even for the long term as well if he is going for a house that'll be away from the city centre I reckon it'll be for Cheshire uh, if I was to uh, put anywhere that I reckon that he may end up and then Marca in Spain and sources close to Barcelona have said that Manchester City have told Barcelona they're no longer listening for offers for Bernardo Silva and Man City have said that Bernardo Silva he's not for sale he stays at Manchester City which is fantastic news. Now, moving on to the ins, we do have a new name and it comes in the form of Anthony Gordon at Everton. Now, Paul Joyce at the Times has said that Pep Guardiola, he's a big fan of the Everton winger. Nothing else was mentioned other than that. Chelsea are currently being linked with him. I do not see Manchester City certainly this summer making a move for him. It's just that Pep Guardiola likes him and likes his style. That's all that's been suggested. Chelsea have had a £45 million bid rejected from Everton for uh, Anthony Gordon. Uh, so whether that materialises and that happens and he ends up uh, making a move from Everton to Chelsea, that could happen. But that might be something maybe to keep an eye on in the next 12 months or so. So if Man City want to uh, try and add to their attack, which they may well do. But uh, yeah, it's starting to look like now Man City sorting their transfer business. There's very little else now other than some potential outgoings to sort. And I would imagine now this is a good time for Man City to start planning ahead. If they want to make any moves in January, now's a good time to get that ball rolling. If Man City are identifying players for next summer, then again, now's a good time to start getting that ball rolling, start the scouting system, start talking with the player uh, and and their representatives and the clubs and start to get a good feel about which players they want to go after it could be a case that with Bernardo Silva staying City could have said if you stay this season we'll sell you next summer uh, with two years left on your contract and Barcelona can afford you for next summer who knows we won't know them things until much much later but now is a really good time for City to start getting these transfer things sorted so I imagine we're still going to be in for a pretty busy end for the next two weeks to transfer deadline day so I'm going to keep you guys up to date every single step of the way with the latest Manchester City transfer news this summer so do make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below of what you make of these transfers also don't forget as well leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video 500 likes is the aim to only help towards that would be much appreciated go and check out my social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general
your business inquiries. And lastly, do go and check out today's video sponsor, OneFootball. Link in the description if you want to go and download the free OneFootball app. OneFootball will keep you up to date with all the latest football news, transfer news, as well as the latest scores, results, statistics, live league tables, what channel you can view the game on, and so much more. It's a brilliant app to have. It's free, so go and check that out. Anyone that does download OneFootball using my link does help to support the future content created here on my channel. It does keep these videos coming for you guys. And I'll see you all again tomorrow, religiously, for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.